All right, my first time in Old San Juan. Actually, when we arrived here in Puerto Rico, we stayed here for a couple hours and then immediately left. So I didn't even get to go to Old San Juan at all. And look, if you turn around right here, it's just colorful. San Juan. What do you place. think? I love it here. Pretty cool. What do you like the most about it? The food. The food. How it looks. What about Carmen? One thing you, one thing you do notice is there's a huge heat index difference down here in Old San Juan versus being on the coast. Of course, you do still have a little bit of a breeze here, but it's not as much. And with all the concrete, it gets very, very warm here. It's really amazing exploring old San Juan because the buildings date back to the 16th century, so you get a lot of history. You do get a lot of history throughout the rest of the island of Puerto Rico, but it's just very vivid here. Whereas like you get glimpses and pieces of it throughout the island because you have a lot of modernization and you do have that in old San Juan, but here, or you do have that in San Juan, but here in old San Juan, it just brings you back in time. Yeah. It allows you to just visually see the culture and the history in the streets and it's one of the special things about walking around. Named after St. Christopher, Castello de San Cristobal is the largest fortress built in the Americas to protect old San Juan from the east. actually it collects as much rainwater as possible and underneath the center of the fortress it has a holding tank that holds over 800,000 gallons of rainwater so that the people can be self-sufficient in the times of need. This fortress took over 150 years to build and is still standing strong. It lies 4,000 miles from Europe and it's the first land with a great port that has fresh water. So it's a very strategic location. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. So there are three tunnels in this front part of the castle and they're innovative to the 18th century defense system that runs throughout the entire castle. Now up here they have the upper level to the firing deck. So it's where you can see that they used to have the cannons and all the ammo up here so they could defend the castle. You can really see why the castle has been put in this specific place when you see that big cargo ship coming out of the port. Now we have made it to the second castle. Only about a 15 minute walk from the first one. How much is it? A small tree, the big one, five. It is so hot out today. Yes, all the days. All the days. Yes. Fresh ice cream. It's kind of like a, like an icy. It's not really like, milk ice cream. So I got pineapple and strawberry. So I'm currently sitting in front of El Moro, built in the 16th and 18th century on the cliffside of Moro. 
but I got some ice cream, pineapple, and strawberry. Wow, that is, oh my God. It's a lot more creamy than I thought. Kind of looks like it'd be an icy, but it's not. Mm. It is delicious. This place is known for now being a great place for kids to fly kites because the open field is just so massive, flat, and beautiful. Old San Juan is not only old architecture and commercial businesses, but it's also a lot of homes are in those old 16th century buildings. Wow, El Moro was completed in 1780 and still standing so strong. They have done a very good job of preserving this place. It is beautiful. After years of tension, Spain and the United States went to war in April of 1898, and the conflict lasted 109 days, resulting in Spain's defeat, independence of Cuba, transfer control of the Philippines, Guam, and Puerto Rico. After walking around this much of old San Juan and seeing the different castles in this heat, I am extremely thankful to be wearing these cut shirts. They're super thin, wrinkle-free, perfect for travel, lightweight, and they're offering everybody 15% off. If you want to check them out, just take a look on their site, see, see what you like, and you get 15% off by using the code in the link in the description box below. Hola. No problem, hey. God bless ya. God bless you. This chapel has been closed every time I've been to Puerto Rico and down here in San Juan. Now it was built in the 18th century, restored in the 20th century, and if you're lucky enough, you'll get to go inside it. But if not, you can just sit outside and feed pigeons like everybody else. Super colorful. Every every corner you turn whether there's flags on the wall local wall art and graffiti all over beautiful architectures and castles i feel like you could just walk around for days on old san juan and still not see it all this is steve and he's been traveling with me for the last 10 days yeah. it's about the second time on the channel of other than columbia right yeah we went to columbia yeah. together so if you have yet, make sure you head over, give Steve a follow, a like on Instagram and on YouTube. I think that's correct. We're at La Vergüenza, and it's a restaurant that was recommended to us by one of Steve's followers on Instagram. Just shot us a message, said you need to go here, and we walked by it like twice today. Yeah, we already walked by it twice, and we said that is the place we should probably try. Because it was so busy, the music was loud, the drinks looked good, the people were having a great time out here. And the you know, view. What, what more the, can you ask for? It's the rooftop up there with the view of the ocean. And I'll have the mofongo with chicken, please. Salud. Salud. different type of mofongo though. This one doesn't have the sauce. Like that's it. it was kind of like a mofongo with like like a tomato soup base to it. This is just a mofongo with sauteed chicken on top. That fish taco stuff. I can't find anything like this in my yes. hometown. I searched high and low for fish tacos like this. 
and I was never able to find it. I never had a single fish taco until the time I came to Puerto Rico, and now I just can't get enough of them. Got some chicken on top, some mashed plantains on the bottom. Woo. Okay, I'm having a little. Please stand by. Technical difficulties. Three, two. Very, very, very different flavors. Completely different mofongo. What's really strange is, this is such a lively place down here in Old San Juan, but this isn't the party place. The party place is about two miles that way down the coast. Kind of reminds me of South Beach, Miami. So surprising that the old San Juan is is very, very quiet. What time is it, Steve? Like 7.18 and it is peaceful, quiet. You legit hear grasshoppers down here in old San Juan. <laughs> it just blows my mind because it's such a popular place. It's really well known for food, drinks, entertainment, shopping, but it's not really the nightlife spot of old San Juan, or of San Juan. So if you're looking to rent a place down here in San Juan while you're here, or just taking a stop before you go somewhere else in the island, old San Juan might be the best place for you. You get the shopping, you get the experience, you get the history, and you get the peace and quiet to sleep well. <laughs> time fully booked long wait but this time they're actually requiring you to have a negative COVID test or a vaccination card to get it. Rainy season has quickly shown us their love again Ooh, and it is hard. pouring outside. So oh, good thing we're inside yeah, right like now. let's uh let's definitely sit here for a while <laughs> and just enjoy these pina coladas <laughs> until it stops raining. Perfect timing. Woo. So if it's raining and you're in old San Juan, make a trip down to Barachina and get yourself some original pina coladas. So Barachina is a place that offers 12 different variations of the original pina colada. This is just the rum pina colada, the original. The cherry, pineapple, and your fruity little flag. <laughs> it's phenomenal. Very, very good. You can get them extra strong with 151. You can get different variations, different liquors, but generally they all start with the original pina colada recipe and the liquor is added. Incredible pina coladas. And the food was actually pretty good last time I came here. So definitely a place you want to check out, but it is, it's quite a wait because it's, it's pretty famous. 